right, so here we left off on completing um, question number three. And, and um, yes, yeah, so we are continuing with question number four. Now, it says here, continue the inventory exercise. Um, your inventory method is periodic and it's FIFO. So, again, here it says on June 30th, right, you had um, 1,200 toys on hand. So let's scroll up and let's see how much that 1200 was actually cost, what, how much it cost us. So again, we solved that it was 1987.50, okay? But let's actually look at the table. Now, from what we remember, um, we, we took out from the first batch and the second batch. So therefore, we have a total of three batches left. And because we're dealing with first in, first out, what's going to happen is we're going to keep this going and we're just going to transfer this information into the, um, into the inventory section at the bottom. So we're going to have 100 here, 500, and 600 here, giving us a grand total of 1,200. And the numbers that you're going to be using is going to be reflective of each section that we've already calculated so here's 775 and 1080 and then this one's going to be 100 times um a dollar 30 which is going to give us um which is going to give us uh um 130 okay so let's go ahead and scroll down here and we're going to fill in that as the first thing because that's the first thing that happened on june 30th you need to recognize that you have 12 100 units available on hand okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put that here so inventory on hand we have a total of this plus 500 plus 600 okay we're for the sake of this uh for the sake of this um example we're just gonna leave it at it as is because it is first first in first out However, let's just leave it as it is, okay? So just let's make sure that we keep this um, going, okay? So, um, okay, this was 7750, and this was um, 1080. So we had, how much was our inventory? Nine, oopsies, 19, 1987. Fifty. Yeah. Ooh, I did not get that. Let's see. Nineteen eighty-seven fifty. Okay, so this is going to be due to our rounding er errors here. So um, one thirty. So how much did we solve for the seven fifty? 750. 750, we solved that it was 9750. Okay, that's fine. So we need to recognize that this is actually okay. All right. So here is this. That's our beginning inventory. That's what we had transferred into inventory. What does the first thing say? Uh, the first is uh, uh, 500 toys on July 5th. Okay, for $1.65. $1. At the price of $25 each. Okay. Was it July 5th? Yes. Oh. So what accounts are we going to be using? Uh, account, uh, purchased expense. Mm -hmm. And freight expense. Yes. Accounts, accounts payable. And accounts payable, yes. Okay, good. Accounts. Payable. 
All right. So if we bought 500 units at $1.65, how much is that going to give us? Eight twenty five. Eighteen eight. Oh, sorry. You said eight twenty five. Yes. And then the freight was twenty five. Twenty five. So we got a grand total of eight fifty. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we got to go up here, and we're gonna post it up here. So let me go ahead and make it like that. So. 725 500 items at $1.65 each. 825 plus 25 gives us a grand total of 850. What is our unit per what is our cost per item? $1.70. $1.70. Okay. What happened next? Um, I, I purchased 800 toys on the 10th. At $1.80, and the freight was $40. Okay, so how much was um, our purchase price? thousand four hundred and forty dollars yeah so one thousand four hundred and forty dollars okay plus 40 gives us 1480 uh, yes and uh, uh, dollar 85 dollar 85 all right what's next oh no now we gotta journalize right Yes. So seven ten. Uh, what's our what's our journals? Accounts. Excuse me. All right. Uh, purchase expense, freight expense, and accounts payable. Good. So what was the freight again? Fourteen forty. For fourteen forty. So we got fourteen eighty. All right. What happened next? We need to make these lines bigger. Which one? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's just like you know. <laughs> This is meant for people to write microscopically. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Well. Uh, so June. I don't write microscopically. Okay. All right. So what happened uh, next? Twenty July. Mm hmm. Three hundred units. A dollar eighty-five. Mm hmm. And it uh, gives you a uh, uh, purchase price of five five five. Okay. With the freight expense of fifteen dollars. Okay. And the total cost of that's five seventy. So here on cost July twentieth, we bought three hundred items at a dollar eighty-five. And you said that was five five five. And fifteen. So that gave me. Okay. Dollar, uh, $1.90. All right. So let's go ahead and journalize that. So on July 20th. 20th. Oopsies, I forgot to skip a line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, even I make mistakes. All right. So... Oh, yeah. And it'd be freight expense or purchase expense, freight expense, and accounts payable. Okay. And it was for how much? Five seventy 
70? Yeah. Oh, man, again, I was short one. All right, and lastly, or second to last, on July 25th, what happened? Uh, 100 units. July, 100 units. Okay. At a dollar seventy-five each. Okay. And that'd be one hundred seventy-five dollars. Okay. And the freight. Five dollars. Five dollars. And the total cost is one eighty. Okay. And then what is the unit cost per unit? One point eight zero. Okay. And then we're going to. Scroll down to the bottom and journalize this last transaction. So 725. Okay, same thing. This was for 175. We had five dollars freight, so therefore 180 is our total accounts payable. Yeah. All right. And then what is the last thing that we need to recognize? Uh, we have six, uh, 600 toys on hand. Perfect. We have 600 toys on hand. All right. So let's go ahead and scroll down to this bottom part. So what is the first thing we got to do before we do the do before we can solve the bottom part? Get the total, so the quantity, and the, mm -hmm. the four different columns. Mm -hmm. So what is the first row or first column? One, two, Say that again, David. You broke up. 1700 1700 How much was purchase price? $29.95. $29.95? Yes. All right. $85. $85. Three, Say that again. $3080. $3080. Thirty yes. eighty. Thirty thirty eighty. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill out the bottom part now. Okay. So we're looking at quantity. How much total quantity do we purchase? Seventeen hundred. Okay. And how much did it cost us for those seventeen hundred? Um $29.95. Yes. All right. Did we have any returns or allowances or discounts? No. Okay. Yeah. So, therefore, our total subtotal is going to be $1,700 at $2,995. How much was our freight? $85. $85. So, that gives us a grand total of 1,700 items for... The grand total of three thousand and eighty dollars. Okay, so that's your net purchases. Now let's complete our cost of goods sold. Do we have beginning inventory? Yes. 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 How many items? Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred, and it cost us nineteen eighty-seven fifty. So, twelve hundred nineteen eighty-seven fifty. And then we're going to add it to our net purchases, which was $1,700 plus $3,080. And what is our grand total of goods available? $2,900. $2,900 for what value? $5,067.50. $5,067.50. Is that wrong? I got sixty-seven fifty. Ten. Three, four, five. I got five. Yeah, I got five. Zero, six, seven, fifty. Huh. Yeah, the beginning balance plus the net purchase. Five thousand sixty-seven fifty.
Jabria, what did you get? Okay, never mind. I see what I did again. The net purchase, I left out the freight out. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm good now. Okay, so. Did we get, so we got a grand total of $5,067.50. Okay, good. Now, on July 31st, how many items do we have on hand? 600. We had 600 toys, so our ending inventory is going to be 600. So what is these, how do we find our cost of goods sold? We subtract the ending from the goods available and get 2300 That's correct. All right. Now, with 2300 that's what we're going to be calculating. All right. So, we don't actually need to split these up because we already know, right, first in or first out, right? This whole bunch is going to be get rid of because it's only valued at 1200 items. We need to get to 2300 items. So, first thing we're going to eliminate is going to be that 1,200 items for the 1987.50. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that we got rid of our beginning inventory, what's the next batch that we're going to be dipping into? The 500. The 500. So, let's look at here. What is... What is, um, what is 1,200 plus 500? 1,700? Yes. All right. And we know that 500, we don't have to calculate per unit cost because we know it's going to give us a total of 850. So we don't need to calculate that. Okay. Now, we only are at 1,700. How much do we need to get to? We need to get to 23. 400. We need it. Okay. Six hundred more. Six hundred more. Okay, from the July ten purchase. Perfect. We have how many? Six hundred. Uh, we got eight hundred, but we only need six hundred. Okay. So yes. So six hundred times a dollar eighty. 600 times a dollar 80 we get 1080 all right and this gives us a grand total of 23 and then what does this give us a grand total of uh, 3152 dollars and 50 cents 3000 mm-hmm. Five hundred. Wait, three thousand one hundred. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One thousand three thousand one hundred and fifty-two dollars and fifty cents is going to be the total cost of our goods that we sold. Okay, so how do we solve for the remaining balance in inventory? Well, subtract. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Are you uh, goods available and um, uh, the cost of goods sold? Mm hmm. And what do we get? 1915. 1915. Okay, so good. We solve for that. So every single time you do a periodic inventory, right? And every time you set, so you get to you get to create whenever the periodic, the when you end the period, okay? So from there, that means whether it's monthly, whether it's weekly, whether it's annually, once you get to this amount right here, 
this is when you're going to have to use that for the next starting period. So every single time, all right? So let's go ahead and journalize the last part, which is to convert the inventory. So what are the things that we need to look into? Uh, the date. Mm -hmm. We have toys. Mm -hmm. At $1,915. $1,915. Yes. So one nine. Cost of goods sold is 3,153 dollars and 50 cents. 3,152 and 50 cents. Okay. And we have purchase expense mm -hmm. at 4,982 dollars and 50 cents. Purchase expense at 4,000. I'll say that again. 4,000 what? 982. Okay. And 50 cents. Okay. And the uh, freight expense, $85. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that it? Uh, uh, inventory uh, on hand begin toys beginning inventory N yes 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 we have to remember our toys from the beginning oh, that's right that's right I forgot yes again you don't need to indicate begin or in ending i just did that so you can recognize where it goes where so again it's going to be in the inventory toys same place all right, and for how much? $1,987.50. Okay. If you add these up in total, which um, I don't, I get a discrepancy. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Why is her purchase expense that much? Um, let's see. Let's review. Okay, so our purchase up here is only two ninety two nine nine five. So, so I already included the beginning in that purchase expense. Is where I went wrong. Yes. Yeah, so two nine nine five zero zero. All right. So again, when we are looking at where we're finding the information purchase purchase expense will always be this number right here it's going to be your total purchases for the whole items your freight right here is going to your for your freight expense is going to be here so this should be three thousand eight hundred and uh, three thirty three thousand and eighty dollars right this one right here is where we're adding our beginning inventory which in this section we've already clarified here that the that the at the beginning inventory was 1987.50 so again there you go any questions so far okay where's that ask from i'm sorry where's that where's the aspirin i'm sorry i didn't bring any yes okay so for the next one, I want you to practice journalizing on your own. So questions number eight and nine, as well as question number 11 and 12. Shoot, is there more? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> um, and 14 and 15, as well as the other two. Okay, I mean, worst case scenario, if you like this, then I can go ahead and we could teach the next part and then come back to it the next day because I think tomorrow um, is going to be a short day. So I think we should just, yeah, let's just, let's just continue, continue what we're at right now. If we stop, then we stop, okay? 
So let's go. So so scratch what I just said. Let's just let's just continue. All right. So now we just finished that one whole problem right there. Okay. So now we're gonna be continuing with number seven. Number seven. Okay. So now we're gonna start from scratch. However, the numbers are all the same. So I'm thinking this is why it's going to be a lot more easier because you're just potentially just copying and pasting. All right. So number seven. Okay. Your and your inventory method is periodic and this time it's weighted average. Okay. Assume all purchases are made on account. Round to the nearest penny. All right. Okay. So, again, this is just extra practice for you. If you want to take the shortcut, I am okay with just copy and pasting. <laughs> it's up to you. I can go work through this whole entire thing out with you guys again. <sighs> it does keep being over and over, huh? It, it does because um, it also takes a lot of time out of my day to have to change every single details. And if I, for, if I change one here, I have to remember to change it everywhere else. Well, that, 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 that tells me I'm not losing my mind. Okay. I thought I'd seen, I thought I'd seen uh, multiple. Okay. So what I can do is because the calculations to solve for the cost of goods sold will be different, I'm going to go ahead and copy the first four entries into the worksheet just to save a little time, okay? Um, okay. Unless you want to calculate all of it, it's up to you. So all four, all these four will be the same. Oh, oh I should also copy your, the totals too because these totals will stay the same as well. Isn't this cheating? No, it's... Because no, no it's same not. Thing. It's so the same we're just thing. Transferring it to a new sheet. Yes. Oh, okay. It's cheating if you look at my paper and copy it down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Okay. So again, um you don't here, just go ahead and grab your page one. Um with the question number one, because that table is going to look almost identical, but also have page with the question number seven on it. Also put that on the side because we're going to be calculating a completely different um, uh, cost per item. Okay. So again, um, I'm going to copy this part too, because actually, no, well, let's just go ahead and do it. So here, um, we've already calculated all the stuff already. Okay. We got each we got each unit cost and everything, right? This is the same exact problem. That worked quick. <laughs> that worked quick. So now we're going to be dealing with filling out this little bottom part because this bottom part is actually the more important one, okay? All right. So how many items in total did we purchase? 2950. Twenty nine fifty, and how much did it cost us? Uh, three thousand eight hundred sixty two dollars and fifty cents. Yes. Okay. Did we have any repurchase returns or allowances? No. No. Okay. So therefore, we still have two hundred ninety fifty items, and it's still gonna cost us three hundred and eighty sixty two fifty. Okay. How much was freight? 150. 150. So therefore, our net purchases is still going to be 2950 at how much? $4,012.50. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, here's where I'm going to calculate this again. Cost of goods sold. We did not have any beginning inventory. And we just take the numbers from up here because our net purchases will move right down here to 2950, which gives us a total of 2950. And this is 
40, 12, 50, which is going to give us 40, 12, 50. Okay, let's scroll up to the top and let's read here. On June 30th, you had 1,200 toys on hand. So ending inventory will be 1,200. What is our cost of goods sold? How many items did we sell? 1750. 1750. All right. So here is where our costing, figuring out how we get our total cost of goods sold is going to be different. Okay. So this time, let's look at let's look at this carefully. What kind of method are we focusing on? What we're doing weighted average. Okay. So what is weighted average? What is weighted average? The average of the cost of items of all purchases. Yes. So we remember we left this one right here blank. How do we yeah. solve for this one? This was a special one, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the formula? Total cost divided by total quantity. Yes. So what is that? So total, so total cost, okay, divided by total quantity. I got a dollar thirty six. A dollar thirty six. Okay. So no matter where we're at, once we find this number here, we're we're done. Okay. Why? So we figured out that we have 1750 because each item that we sell and each item that we have left on inventory, they're all going to cost the same. So here we're just going to do 1750 and what are we going to multiply that by? $1.36. $1.36 and we get a total of $2,380. Two thousand three hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. It does it does it is everyone okay with this one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. This is the easiest kind of um, inventory, okay? So once we recognize that we have $2380, okay? How do we find the total amount of inventory we have on hand? Minus uh, we, uh, Did we subtract the cost of goods sold mm -hmm. from available and you'll get $1,632 and don't forget that 50 cents oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I always forget the cents okay you know in 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 a um, fictitious world you can round however you want to round you want to round to the nearest dollar be my guest in in this one we're rounding to the nearest penny, so we're a little off. So let's look at let's look at rounding answers. In a real world, every penny counts, especially yeah. if you are selling a thousand items. You don't want to lose a thousand of a penny, because every thousand items yeah. you sell, that's one dollar you lost. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, so here we got. Um, sixteen thirty-two fifty, and our answer is third, uh, twenty-three dollars eighty and eighty cents. All right. So, okay. again, easy stuff. Okay. Also, um, let's go ahead and journalize the conversion. Okay. So, how do you? 
Yes, the third 30th of June. So 630. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, June, July. Yeah, 30 June. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, whoa. So what what are what are going to be our accounts? Uh purchase account. I mean purchase expense. Okay, purchase expense could be down here. What else? And the conversion, yeah, the toys, the cost of goods sold. Yes, toys. And freight. Cost of goods sold. And freight expense. Okay. So, again, we're going to scroll up to the bottom part of this. And we're going to extract the information. So, how much was ending inventory? 1632 dollars 50 Okay. And then how much was cost of goods sold? 2380 And then how much was our purchases? Figures like uh, purchase expense will be uh, three thousand eight hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty cents. Yes, and then our freight is going to be right here under freight for a hundred and fifty. So let's go ahead and fill those information in sixteen thirty two fifty. And I completely forgot the rest of the numbers. <laughs> 150. Um, and then this was, I forgot. Let's go ahead and look. So I got the first one, 2380. 2380? Mm hmm. 2380. And then lastly, our purchase was 29. I got 3,860. 3,860. 3,860. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. If you guys practice journalizing, all of this would look identical. Okay. Reason being is because when you're just doing purchases, you're just dealing with purchase, freight, and whatever account that you're putting on. So all of this is just going to be the same exact journal entry, okay? So um, because this is my answer sheet, I'm going to go ahead and copy everything. Okay, this is going to be identical in every... Ah, oh, shoot! I put the wrong dates in. Okay, I copied the wrong one then. Alright, let me scroll back up. Okay, so here, we're starting with the June. Okay, so these is going to be your answers. My, my apologies. Okay. Any questions so far? No. Okay. So, here again. We are continuing from the inventory exercise. Your inventory method is periodic and weighted average, okay? So again, here we recognize that on June 30th, you have 1,200 toys on hand. How much did it cost us? 16.32.50. So let's go ahead and recognize that in our inventory. 
So this was how many units? 1,200 units. And it cost us a total of, oopsies, wrong box up here. So we have a total of 1,200 units and it cost us 1632.50 from our previous problem, all right? So what's first? July, 500, 500 units at $1.65. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and paste everything in here unless you want to solve it. So up here... Here is our information, copy, and then here on the 10th of July, here, there you go. So, mm -hmm. quick. yep, so again, this is because we've already done it before. So let's go ahead and fill out this part because I really want to um, get to the costing before anything. All right. Okay. So purchases. How many items did we purchase? 1,700. 1,700. How much did it cost us for those 1,700? 29.95. 29.95. Okay. Did we have any purchase returns and allowances? No. No. All right, so our subtotal is 1700 items for 2995. How much was our freight? 85. $85, okay, so therefore we still have 1,700 items, but how much is our total? 3,080. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna bring it down here. Now, question is, do we have beginning inventory? Yes. 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 How many items? 1,200. 1,200, and how much did it cost us? $1,632.50. $1,632.50. We're going to add our $1,700 together, and we're going to add the $3,080 together. And what do we get? A grand total of our goods available. $2,900. Yes. $2,900. And how much did it cost us? No, I got four thousand seven hundred and twelve. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't forget the fifty cents. Okay, so seven, so four, seven, and twelve. So two, eleven, seven, four. Yes, four, seven, twelve, fifty. Okay, and then let's scroll up and see how much is left over in on inventory on hand. So July 30th, we have how many available items? July 30th? I mean, 31st. sorry, July 31st. Oh, 600? Mm -hmm. 600 toys. We had 600 toys available. So 600 toys available. Therefore, how many did we sell? 2,300. We sold 2,300 items. Okay, now, what do we do next? We're solving for our weighted average. Right, so, uh, let's see. Uh, 30, four, six, 
twenty one hundred. A dollar sixty two. Okay, we got one sixty two. Anybody else want to try and calculate this? Oh, well, that sounds good though. Yeah. So a dollar sixty two times twenty three hundred. Or we could just multiply that by 600, right? So a dollar 62. Uh, did you round up, round down? Uh, I rounded down. Okay. Because it was below five. Okay, um, so hold on. 600. What no wait, hold on. Before you do anything, what number did you use? Uh, $1.62. No, no, no. What number did you use to calculate that number? How did you get $1.62? Oh, I got the, uh, uh, let's see, 3080 plus 1632. Don't, don't, don't I forget the... I just, <laughs> I just know what I did, but I don't, I didn't write it down. Let's see, 3080. Okay, so the total cost was $4,712.50. Mm -hmm. I divided that by 2,900 and got $1.62. 2,900. Okay, I got 162 and then it's a five. So you rounded down though. And my question is why you round oh. down? Okay, because I didn't have a five. <laughs> oh, are you? What kind of calculator are you using? Uh, it's on my iPhone. <laughs> yeah. It should work out. Um, yeah, four seven one two fifty divided by two nine zero zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did it again, and and I got what you got a dollar sixty one point six two five. So it should be a dollar sixty three, right? It's up to you. I mean, it ends there. So you can just take that number and just multiply it. You can round early. Just remember, you will get rounding issues because you're rounding a whole penny. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say I'm going to round to the nearest penny, right? Because it tells you to round to the nearest penny. So I'm going to do 163. Oh, okay. Well, I just multiplied that by 600. So I'll go back and round it first and then multiply Okay. What did I just say I do? Okay. So you're gonna take one sixty three and you're gonna multiply it by your two thousand three hundred. Oh I well I okay, yeah. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. One day. Yeah, I was up at 5.30 this morning. And my dog <laughs> just wouldn't leave me alone. Okay, so I ended up with uh, 9.78 instead of 9.75. Doing it that way, rounding it up. Okay. First. So what was your number? What number did you use? 78. What number? Uh, did you do 600? 600 600 yes, yeah, 600 times $1.63. Okay, so you you solved you solved for the ending inventory first. Yeah, because it really you know because it's it's a weighted average, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you can go right ahead and do that, right? You can do whichever way because they're both accurate no matter what. So yes, if you do solve for this way first, then how do you solve for cost of goods sold? Well, then you multiply it by the unit number by 2300 instead of 600. Okay, but it's a same. And then subtract that from the goods available and you'll get the same thing. Because we rounded, you will not get the same thing. If you do, if you do not round, you will get the same thing. Okay. Because of the whole rounding issue. Therefore, this is going to be rounded off. So if you solve for one, one of them is going to be off because you rounded early. So okay. if, you, if you left it at 1.625, 
your answers should be the same. No matter which way you solve. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll go back to my original number. <laughs> <laughs> which was uh, 975 instead of 978. Okay, hold on. Uh, but hold on, that's 1.625 times 600 gives you, yes, 975. 3737. 3737. That's not rounding it off until the very end. That's not rounding off beforehand. Yes. And then, and then if you do that, yes, you would be able to solve it the same way, even if you multiplied it by 2300. If you left this at um, 6.25. Okay. So don't you think, do you think that it would be better if you just do it that way consistently? Yes, but remember, you could, you're just going to have to choose which one you want to be consistent with. Do you want to round early or do you want to round towards the end? Now, uh, like I said, if you're, if you, so this company, right, they sell thousands of toys, right? Every penny is going to count. And if you round up too early, you're going to exert too much. You're costing, you're going to lose a profit. If you round to less, you're going to make a more big of a profit, but your assets are going to be so heavy. So it's more accurate if you just wait. Yes. Okay. That well, is that correct. To do it that way. Yes, it, you would get a more accurate answer. So, okay. all right. So let's go ahead and finish this part off, and then we'll take a break. Well, actually, it's already 401, so... Let's just finish this off and then call it a day. And then tomorrow we'll finish up with um, the last portion, okay? So let's go ahead and finish off the, the okay. journal entry right here. So on July 31st, right, we had ending inventory, which was toys, um, for $975. We had a cost of goods sold for how much? $37, $37.50. How much was our purchase expense? Purchase expense. So let me scroll up real quick. Our purchase expense was how much? $38.80. That's our total cost. That's including freight. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I keep including the doggone thing. Okay. Twenty nine ninety five. Yes. Twenty nine ninety five. And then the uh freight. Freight is eighty five dollars. Mm hmm No, 85. Sorry, my bad. 85. Yeah, I put 185. Oh, okay. Okay, and then is that it? No, there's a, a beginning. Inventory. Yes, we, inventory at the beginning. we need yeah. to recognize beginning inventory, which is what? Do you guys remember? No, $32.50. Um, let me scroll up and yes, so $16.32.50 is going to be our answer. $16.32.50. All right. Okay. So again, if you were to journalize this, it should be identical. Nothing gets affected at all. Okay. All right, so um, since we didn't take a break, I'm going to let you guys go early um, by a lot. So, by a lot? Yes. So again, um, again, we'll just come back to this tomorrow and finish it off just because, let me see, how long did it take us to do that one?
yeah, the next part's going to be long because we have to do two parts. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. So again, happy uh, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, right? Or is Monday? It's Tuesday. It's Monday. 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 Oh, my God. It's Monday. only Monday. Well, happy Monday to you guys because I, I, my mind has checked out already. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and call in early uh, because one, we didn't take a break and um, I want to wait till tomorrow to finish the next part because it is two parts. So I want to make sure that we get it completely and get, get it through smoothly. Um, I'll go ahead and um, uh, send you guys your quizzes scores. So uh, go ahead and uh, wait on an email for that. Other than that, have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you tomorrow, and we're going to dive into Chapter 6 tomorrow. So become prepared with um, the uh, worksheets that I posted. So I, there's only one worksheet so far. <laughs>